so composed it's amazing oh I'm getting used to this wonderful 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 well done rally raid well done <laughs> okay so as we all know the Honda CRF 300L suspension leaves something to be desired uh, I've uh, done pretty well with the OEM suspension but I still ordered the rally raid suspension for the bike it has now come here I'm not gonna make an install video but I will do some measurements and hopefully you will get something uh, of value from that information I am 82 kilograms at the moment without gear on so with rider gear I'm probably around 90 kilograms I am 175 centimeters tall and I can measure my inseam for the video I don't know it uh, off the top of my head but uh, I can measure it and I can put all the information on the video uh, so you can see and just so you know I am running the preload fully adjusted to the hardest setting on the rear so it does help a little bit and uh, anyone who's riding with the OEM suspension and feels that it's soft just crank up the preload on the rear and it's gonna help you a little bit as you can see the bike is rather soft and really bouncy the biggest issue for me is the bounciness of the suspension when I ride hard off-road it is a little bit scary at points and losing traction on the rear especially so that's the main reason for going to the rally rate system is that I, I can keep a better speed off-road and I can make it a safer ride for me here's how it looks I can pretty much flat foot the bike on both sides and I don't re even have my rider boots on I have just these uh, small sneakers that I'm gonna use for the after video as well but I can pretty much flat foot the bike when I sit on the bike it's really comfortable I can reach the ground perfectly well I don't even have to lean the bike over this is why I went with the rally rate level 1 suspension I don't want the bike to get overly tall because I'm not that tall myself so the rally rate level 1 that I chose is 210 millimeters front and back and if you go with the level 2 it's 250 millimeters front and back so the bike is gonna gain a lot of height if you go with the level 2 suspension so if you are a shorter rider like me and you feel that the OEM suspension height is comfortable for you you should probably consider going with the level 1 that I chose and you can see the difference here in the video when I get the suspension setup done so yeah this is how it looks when I bounce on it yeah this looks stupid and feels stupid as well <laughs> and uh, yeah it's really soft and if you sit on the rear of the bike it feels even softer so this is how it looks oh yeah <laughs> okay let's get the new suspension setup done and uh, see how it looks well, I said that this is not gonna be an install video but I'm gonna just put this in when you remove these parts from the rear end remember to grease up these bushings here as you can see I've already taken off the lower ones here and the top one is still dry so if you push the bushing out you can put grease underneath the sleeve there uh, from factory they are pretty dry so I would recommend putting some grease there I'm using a high temperature lithium grease that is meant for bearings and all that kind of stuff and uh, it will prevent water from getting in this under these seals so that's what you should do and here's the rear springs side by side so the rally rate one is way thicker and the level one is way shorter as well i didn't go with the hydraulic preload adjuster so I just have the standard one here I'm just probably gonna leave it as it is for now okay through the magic of video editing the system is now installed so now I have the rally rate level 1 suspension front and back and the bike feels completely different it's like uh, it's totally changed 
the feel of the bike. And as you can see, I'm just lifting off the bike from the side stand and it's already more rugged and way more, way more stable. And if I press the bike down, you can see the difference is huge compared to the OEM that I'm gonna put on the other side of this video. It's a complete change. The stock seat height, if I remember it correctly, it's 88, like 880 millimeters, so 80, 88 centimeters. I'm gonna measure the seat height and put it in the video. What I can tell you without even measuring the bike, even though this is the lower level one suspension, it is taller than the OEM, OEM suspension. So it, that's pretty good, I think, because if it was any more lower than this, the suspension travel might be too little at that point. But I think it, it's perfect. If you are okay with the OEM suspension and the height of the bike, the level one is not gonna surprise you in either direction, but it is a little bit taller as far as I notice when I sit on the bike. So with the OEM suspension, I could pretty much flat foot the bike on both sides. But as you can see, I am a little bit shy from flat footing the bike. Not too much, but a little bit taller, maybe like that much. It's like three centimeters, maybe actual height is, is uh, taller than the OEM, but it's not too bad. I'm still very comfortable on the bike. I'm very comfortable moving it around on the on my feet and very comfortable sitting like this taking stance on both sides of the bike and if I want a flat foot I just lean a little ever so slightly to the left side I can be here comfortably with more, one one foot but let's see the test that I did with the OEM suspension that looks stupid but I, I think the difference is going to be apparent from the, that test so let's rock the bike back and forth you can see the bike is way way more stable and even sitting behind there I'm not getting the suspension to go down too much I've actually measured the sack to be around six centimeters so it was pretty much bang on right from the box and the front forks I adjusted uh, two turns the preload from both of these the rally rate instructions tell you to put six clicks of dampening to the front forks it's done here on the left side I can show you the video later but yeah the bike is way more stable I can show you how it feels on the trails but just testing it here on the yard I can notice a hundred percent difference it's it's like a completely different bike. I can highly, highly recommend this setup to anyone after this. After just a small test here, I can already tell that it's, it's amazing compared to the OEM. I'll show you the small jump test that I did with the OEM suspension. Uh, so let's go there. Okay, a brake test immediately and I Im immediately notice that the braking is way easier because the nose dive is a lot less than it used to be so you when you brake you immediately start creating some braking force with your tires yeah the bike feels way more how do I say composed even on this flat stuff the back end is getting more grip it's not bouncing the same way it used to be I have to say my first impression on this surface here is that uh, it's actually not hard you can feel it's stiff it's uh, it's firm but uh, it's pretty plush even though you're losing some suspension travel with the level 1 kit from Rally Raid, you are 
getting a plush ride. <laughs> oh yeah, you can definitely feel a difference on This is way way better than this stock. This is a really competent suspension. Oh yeah, this is so much nicer. The back end is not bouncing up and down. I'm getting some traction all over the place. feels so different it's like I have a completely different bike underneath me oh, but it feels so nice and for my height the rally rate level one was a right choice <laughs> oh wow So composed, it's amazing. Oh, I'm getting used to this. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, and the braking is so nice. The bike stays so level. Feels you with confidence, this one. composed and so level and, uh, and so plush I don't know how they do that but it can be comfortable and very proficient at the same time so that's really nice I was a little bit afraid that the suspension is going to be uncomfortable and hard as a rock but no it's actually not it's really comfortable ride I put the rally rate stickers down here I think it looks good because uh, this looks uh, kind of empty without anything on it, so I think it uh, perfects the bike. That's a nice looking sticker. So yeah, what can I say? It feels fantastic as you would expect. I paid a little bit over 1,600 euros when uh, taxed and imported to Finland from, from the UK. So it's not a cheap upgrade for a cheap bike. But I would say it's 100% worth it. If you have the money, you should definitely do it. I, of course, I don't have any experience on the other options on the market. There's some KTX stuff and all kinds of stuff available. But uh, the reason I went with the Rally Rate Level 1 is uh, I have some trust for the company because they have such a nice customer service. I, I've always gotten feedback and emails back from them and they, they really care for the customer. So I feel comfortable ordering their products. Uh, this is the second time or, or maybe third time that I have ordered products from them. So I feel that the company is doing some nice stuff. And uh, if the Mad TV from Australia uses their products, they can't be that bad. And the second reason I went with the Rally Raid Level 1 is because of the Level 1 option. I don't want the bike to be super tall. This Level 1 suspension for me is perfection absolutely nice so nice i'm not flat footing the bike when i sit on it as you saw from the video so it's not too low but it's not too high either i think it's absolutely perfect i wouldn't change the centimeter on each or any direction because the sag is not 50 percent or more than 50 percent it's now 30 percent it feels that much taller because of that so one centimeter plus that the sag is not that much 
it raises up the bike and the feel feel is actually really nice you can really comfortably ride it on some rougher terrain i would assume i don't have that today but uh, this is just a quick little test yeah and by the way i didn't have to change the side stand it actually is pretty much bang on perfect it's not too tall on the side stand so you don't have to go with the shorter side stand if you go with the level one suspension the oem side stand is absolutely fine as you can see if i raise it up to be upright put it completely level i can just about put my foot down there underneath the side stand so it's leaning up perfectly so i'm not gonna do anything with the side stand so those are my final like uh, quick impressions on the rally rate suspension if you have any comments any questions put in put it down in the comments and if you want comment even if you just like the video just put a thumbs up or anything to get this video video some traction and get my channel up to a thousand subscribers i'm, I'm waiting eagerly to do that <laughs> uh, i know this is just a hobby for me but still it feels nice to have the community be behind you and have someone to talk to in the comment section so Please like, subscribe, 